Welcome back to CAD Institute. In this tutorial, I'm going to create this part in SolidWorks using basic tools. So let's get started. Begin by creating a new part and click OK. Change the background to plain white. Start a sketch on the right plane. Use the line tool to draw a vertical line, followed by a horizontal line, and then another vertical line, something like this. Now, use the offset entities command. Set the offset distance to 25 millimeters. Select the line and check the bidirectional option. Enable the cap ends option and click OK. Set the distance between the two vertical lines to 215 millimeters. The horizontal line length should be 90 millimeters. And the other vertical line should be 85 millimeters. Next, go to the Features tab and select Extruded Boss. Choose the mid plane option and extrude the sketch to 125 millimeters. Click OK. Now select the fillet tool. Set the radius to 20 millimeters and apply it to these four edges. Start a new sketch on the front face. Draw for circles centered at the arc origins. When you hover near the arcs, the center point will appear. Use this to draw the circles. Select all four circles and make them equal. Set the diameter to 20 millimeters. Go to Features and use Extruded Cut with the Through All option. Click OK. Start another sketch on the top face. This time, draw a center point rectangle along the edge. Draw a center line through the origin vertically. Set the rectangle length to 100 millimeters. The distance from the rectangle to the edge should be 50 millimeters. And the width should be 30 millimeters. Use the Sketch Fillet tool. Set the radius to 15 millimeters and apply it to the two vertices. Click OK. Mirror the entire sketch across the vertical center line. Go to Features and select Extruded Cut. Use the Through All option and click OK. Now we have a basic structure of our design. Next, go to Reference Geometry and create a new plane. Select the top face, set the angle to 45 degrees, and choose the edge to define the rotation axis. Enable the Flip Offset option and click OK. Start a sketch on this new plane.
draw a vertical line from the origin. Use the offset tool with a distance of 40 millimeters. Enable the bidirectional option and uncheck the cap ends. Close the shape using lines. Set the vertical line to 80 millimeters in length. Use the three-point arc tool to draw an arc here. Make the arc tangent to the side line. Select the center line and convert it to construction geometry. Go to Features and select Extrude. Reverse the direction and choose the Up to Next option. Click OK. Hide the plane to clean up the view. Now sketch on the face you just created. Use the Normal to view. Draw a short line downward from the origin. Offset it by 7 millimeters. Check the cap end option and click OK. Make the center line a construction line. Go to Features and use Extruded Cut. Use the Blind option and set the depth to 10 millimeters. Click OK. Now select the whole wizard tool. Choose the counterbore option. Set the size to M2 for the standard to a NSI metric. And select hex bolt for the type. For positioning, choose the 3D sketch option. And click on the arc. A center point will appear. Select it. The counter bore hole is now projected correctly. The part is nearly complete. Start a sketch on the right plane. Draw a horizontal line from one edge to the other. Set the distance from the line to the lower edge to 40 millimeters. Go to Features and choose the Rib tool. Flip the material side and set the rib thickness to 15 millimeters. Click OK. The design is now complete. Go to Appearance, select the entire part, and apply the polished steel material with an appropriate color. Click OK. This is how you can design a simple part in SolidWorks. This completes exercise number 13 of our SolidWorks tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.